Hello everyone, we made it. This year has been one for the books, but as we cross the finish line, I want to take a few moments to recognize the enormous efforts of our students, staff, and of course our families. The past 10 months have been challenging to say the least, but you have all risen to the occasion. To our students, I'm immensely proud of all that you have achieved this year. You have adopted a new way to learn, made sacrifices beyond measure, demonstrated leadership well beyond your years, and you've shown a level of resiliency that we can all aspire to. Words cannot describe the admiration I have for you. To our staff, you have changed the way you educate, where you teach and how you support students, but through all of the changes, you kept our students at the center and ensured continuity of learning. Whether you work in a school, an office, or elsewhere in our board, your hard work has not gone unnoticed, and I extend my sincerest thanks to you. Finally, to our families. I would be remiss if I did not acknowledge all that you have sacrificed and done to support our students. This year has been a challenge for you, and you have navigated how to work through a pandemic while supporting your children at home. This has been no easy task, and as our first partners in education, I cannot thank you enough for your collaboration and support as we chartered these new waters together. As we watch the case counts fall, we are seeing a little light at the end of the tunnel, the promise of a more normal 2021-2022 school year, as well as a more normal and relaxing summer. We are starting to look like we have a new reality. We've all sacrificed so much over these 18 months or so, and it is my sincerest hope that this summer, you are able to find the time to recharge, relax, and reconnect to those most important to you. With vaccination rates on the rise, we are hopeful that next school year will look more normal and that we are able to welcome our students' smiling faces back to the classroom. Our staff are in the business of education because we love children, and the prospect of welcoming them back to school safely fills us with joy. As we receive information from the Ministry of Education on reopening guidelines, please know that we'll be sharing that with you over the summer. Although the pandemic has posed many challenges for us all, there is still so much to be proud of and thankful for. I can think of no better way to highlight this than by hearing the voices of our students and families. Honestly, I think that educators have done a really good job. Specifically, I can only speak for myself, obviously, but um, my teachers have been super supportive. Um, They've provided me with everything that I needed to um, do all my work online. They've been supportive. They've provided me with feedback and I honestly um, could not have been happier. They did so well. The teachers, my teacher, she'll ask me, do you need, my teacher will ask me, do you need help? They'll, they'll always look out for me. They'll say, do you need help? I can help you with this, which was really great for me when we were put into breakout rooms. They could see if I was having a little trouble. I mean, as a student leader myself, I think I can say that our educators have been nothing short of fantastic. I've had teachers in the hybrid model who had to do an excellent job in quickly modifying like their lesson plans during the flip-flop transitioning between hybrid and fully virtual learning. And the teachers that I now have at a secondary virtual school really did manage to make a fully online environment where we've never met each other feel really welcoming. A lot of teachers trying to keep things engaging despite virtual classes is something that I recognize. And it's hard to stare, stare at a bunch of black screens and still like enthusiastically teach want to show up every day. So in general, I think the teachers have handled things fairly well considering everything. Learning has become a new experience for students and teachers alike. For the educators, this is probably a new experience for them. Even with this new way of learning, I feel like they've done a, they've done a great job at just like adapting and persevering through this year. And they've just done it like a great job at keeping education valid during this tough time period that we're going through. Honestly, I think that they've handled it in an amazing way. It's really, I find it really difficult for them because they've needed to, like I said before, adapt and just we're in unprecedented times. So nobody knows what's up next. They didn't know if they were going to be in person or online and had to 
changed some things. So I think it's just been really amazing in that way. And for my own personal experience, I've been supported by my teachers in so many ways. And I'm, I'm really thankful. And I think just teachers are underappreciated for that. So I, I think that they've been doing an amazing job. I would like to thank you for putting um, um, a, a lot of sacrifice into your job in making all the children and um, um, students happy at Discovery. And, and and this year has been a very challenging year. You, everyone has have had to wear a mask and you have had to sacrifice a lot. Thank you for constantly adapting and delivering quality education both inside and outside of the classroom. Uh, thank you for staying positive and demonstrating to students through your actions that you can adapt and innovate through any situation that you face. I would like to thank educators for their perseverance um, through this challenging time and all their hard work in adapting to a continuously changing environment and for always working in the best interest of, it, of the children and their physical and mental health. And whether this be online or um, in person, you know, welcoming the children back to school. I want to uh, thank them for their hard work for keeping it together for our children. You know, I've, I found that, that despite the disruption of the pandemic, uh, close to their personal life, they constantly, you know, uh, uh, they constantly show up for their, for their students, uh, for their students. They engage the parents uh, and uh, at the initial, initial stage, they assure uh, the parents that they will do their best to continue to support the students. The, the biggest word is thank you. Thank you for, as a parent, it's thank you for being there for the kids. Yes. Thank you for the support, the ongoing support for kids and for parents, because we also were a little bit lost and probably asking a lot of questions. And thank you for being patient with us and uh, carrying on. Uh, and getting this learning going for the kids. I think that uh, the school board and educators um, and all the teachers that I had an opportunity to interact with uh, um, were very, again, resilient, very dedicated. Uh, um, I think that all of them were very flexible because again, I see strong challenges in migrating from an education system that is in person to online. Not only the tools, but what I said before, how to engage kids with different learning styles, how to keep a class uh, uh, um, as a whole engaged. So, uh, um, so again, I think that despite the challenges, I think that the, teacher, the teachers handled very well and also i think that they were very open you know and disclosed to us folks are all 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 of us are adapting to this new model thank you for for getting our kids through a really tough time and it's very difficult to to be delivering a course without having the benefit of being able to, to read the room and seeing the feedback and kudos for them to them for powering through it and and doing the best they could um, oftentimes juggling the needs of their own children who are studying in their own classrooms beside them you know small children you know that that would just double the challenge for them so so thank you to to the teachers of york region district school board for sticking it out and doing the best you could to keep this year positive for our kids i really wanted to make this video to say thank you um, this past year has been really like no other. Um, the challenges that were presented to you, the constant changes, the fear and the anxiety that many of you felt probably every single day has not gone unrecognized. Another thing that hasn't gone unrecognized is your wavering dedication to what you do, your passion to truly educating children and being a beautiful part of their development and their growth. What also hasn't gone unrecognized is your kindness and patience with us parents who were also just as anxious, just as scared um, throughout this past year. I would just like to say thank you um, for all the educators out there. Um, your, like, your patience, your perseverance, um, that's what made it possible to get us through this school year. As an educator, I know how tough it was, but we 
persevered through this year. Thank you once again. Thank you, Mr. S, for a great, a great, great one school year. Thank you all for your partnership, patience, and hard work over this past school year. I wish you all a safe and restful summer and look forward to welcoming our students back in September. <laughs>